First video is from Reddit user Crims021. During an interview on television in the background, we can observe something bizarre. We can see at some point a kind of portal through which a man appears. Is it something paranormal, a glitch in the matrix, or something that can be easily explained? Decide, folks. Instagram user Yusuf Muhammad underscore zero nine posted an interesting video from his trip to the mountains. <laughs> When everyone is at the top of the mountain, one of the men is recording everything around. It is not difficult to notice that one of them that clearly stands out from the others, the man does not have a head. What is more interesting, no one else notices it and only a strange phenomenon is seen on the camera. Is it a glitch or something completely normal? You decide, folks. Dell and David decided to go to Buck's grave this time. They promised their viewers that, and after a few months, they decided to go there. But on the way to the location, they came across something much more entertaining. Right there, like he didn't like he stopped. Did he turn off the light? On their way to the location, Dell and David notice a suspicious man who probably shouldn't be there. Terrified, but at the same time curious about this fact, they observe a man who has moved away from the road and is staying in the forest. We, Dad, let me get on your help. What is? What do you have down here? He threw something on the ground. What you gonna? What the f are you doing? The content play. What the f are you talking about? The content play. David, what the hell are you doing? Hello. I already tried that. He don't want none. I'm trying to hear. Okay, okay, come on. Maybe I, should, maybe I should go get the light. Go get the light? Dude, I can't be moving around, you know this. You go out there and then some We're just gonna leave and just pretend like this didn't happen? Oh, it happened and we have no business being a part of it. Let's go. This is some dumb This ain't even what we're supposed to be here for. Dude, I couldn't hear or see anything out there. It's so pitch black. Damn. Dell and David try to communicate with the mysterious man, but in vain. When David gets into the car and starts the engine, a hand emerges from the darkness and touches the window of the vehicle. That scares the men who drive away from the scene as quickly as possible. Who was the mysterious man wandering around the forest? What did the person whose hand we saw want to do? What really happened that night 
and whether it was real, only they know. We can only watch and judge. So folks, as usual, the final decision is yours. Also, if you want to watch the full episode of this investigation, visit his YouTube channel Signs and Signals. The next recording is quite short but shows a man on a walk with his dog. Something is watching my dog. What the is big. At some point, something mysterious begins to watch the man's dog. Behind the trees hides a massive creature with huge glowing eyes. What could it be? Bigfoot? Decide, folks. The next recording also has no source, but it is known that it was recorded by the television crew that reported the car accident. Something unexplained appears on the wreckage of the truck. The white long limb at some point hides inside. What is most interesting, the limb looks inhuman and even similar to some mythical creature. So was it paranormal or not? You decide, folks. Hiro and Tomo from the popular YouTube channel Omagataki Film, along with their camera operator, went to an abandoned school, which is a famous haunted place among the local population. The building is also relatively close, only two hours from their hometown. And it all started with a private message Hiro received from a person who visited the school. During its exploration, he heard footsteps and sounds of running in the corridor. As time passed, moving objects and other poltergeist activity could be heard around him. But what scared him the most was a child's scream, heard in a dark abandoned building at 2 a.m., that forced him to leave the building. After hearing the story, the Omagataki film crew decided to go to the creepy location and conduct their own investigation. Walking through the building, they began to experience similar phenomena as the mysterious man. Objects were falling right in front of them. They heard footsteps, and Tomo noticed a figure at one point. The men went to the second floor where they captured this. まあ、まあ、ちょっと。取り消す。回らないと終わんないからね。もう今どこがどうなってるのかわかんないね。まだ物はない。うん。まあ、でもここはここで入り、行き止まりか。そうだね。もう。うん。聞こえたでしょ、
いない、うん、誰もいない誰もいないんだけど誰もいなかったけど、うん、今行こうとした時声聞こえたよ聞こえた完全に子供の声聞こえた Suddenly, right next to them, we can hear a soft whisper. Right after, someone starts to approach the team. The scariest of all, footsteps stopped right at the entrance of their room. Then, the whole team goes to the basement, where there is a desk and a chair around which the activity is the greatest. Ah, Tokuni. Ah, Sorry, Kiko, no, any can stay, it has a. うん、の可能性もあるのかなとは思うけど、うんまあ、ただこの部屋はちょっと一室、うんまあ、血のようなああホントにねここに入った直後の異様な誰かいるような感覚はすごかったなこの部屋はあの人が見つけた。じゃあちょっともうえっ、ー、とさっきの机と椅子があったあの問題の部屋に行ってみよう。While exploring alone, Hiro heard a female voice at the very beginning. Then, as he walks through the building, he notices something in one of the rooms. What's most interesting, Hiro has two cameras. In one of them, we can't see anything, while on the other one, in the room on the right, there is a slender silhouette of a man who disappears right after Hiro notices the apparition. When he checks the room, it turns out that there is no way out of it. Well, except for the window and the drop from the third floor. Hiro once again, but this time alone. He goes to the room with the chair and desk. Hiro decides to stay in the room, sets the camera, and stands right next to the desk.
何者だ When Hiro is standing next to the desk, he directs one of the cameras held in his hand to the desk and the other scans the room. Suddenly, from the desk, a terrifying head leans and looks straight at Hiro, who, only when he notices it, flies out of the building and ends the investigation. What's the scariest, as before, and this time the camera sat statically, does not capture anything. Only on Hiroso's phone we can see a head emerging from the desk. But was that the end of the horror? No. A few days later, Tomo was not satisfied and decided to do the same as Hiro, go there alone and explore the entire building. ま、自分もね、じゃあ、こう何枚か写真とか撮って撮ったりしてみて。で、それだと30分ぐらいで帰ろうかなと思います。写真撮ろうと思います。特に変わった写真っていうのは撮れないです。結構1時間ぐらいやったんですかね。やったんで、あと撤収しようかなと思います。そうだね。うんうんうん。じゃあ。Tomo like Hero experiences mysterious noises. Like him, he goes to a room with a desk and a chair. He stays there for many minutes but fails to record anything. At the very end, Tomo takes pictures of himself and the scary drawing. But there's something very wrong with the two of them. Behind Tomo, we see a dark, massive silhouette of some entity, which disappears in the last shot. So, folks, what the Omagatoki film team really managed to record in an abandoned and haunted school is it just a coincidence that the apparitions recorded by Hiro are only visible on one camera? Do the photos they both took a few days apart show the real spirits that haunt this place? Is everything we've seen really a real ghost caught on camera, or can it just be a well-prepared hoax? As always, folks, the final decision is yours. Also, if you want to watch the full episode of this investigation and many more, visit their YouTube channel Omagataki. YouTuber Ye Ye Kazilag recently shared a gripping video, which comes from one of his viewers who shared the security camera footage of his home. In the recording from the night, we see how the whole family is sleeping on the bed. Suddenly, one of the children's leg is violently pulled by an unknown force. Was it an attack by an evil spirit on an innocent child caught on camera or can everything be rationally explained? You decide, folks. Hakomok Swamp. This place may not tell you anything, but for sure this area is the most mysterious place in the entire United States. It all started with the legend of the Puck Wedgie, a three-foot-tall goblin-like creature that some believe inhabits the place. 
when you ask local residents about the so-called the Bridgewater Triangle, where the Hockomock Swamp is also located, everyone will answer that it is a dangerous place. Not only because people met Bigfoot, skinwalkers, mysterious balls of light or apparitions there, but what they fear the most are the cults that perform dark rituals there. Ryan, Riven and Wyatt from the YouTube channel Twin Paranormal decided to check these rumors. They went there at night, set up the equipment, and started an investigation. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is bring out a device. Dude, I, I feel like those kids got chased to a different area. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Just something about it just seems so weird. Enough to get lost and I die. Man, it's just it's so weird. Did you hear that? If we don't make it out of this forest, boy. I just want to reiterate real quickly too, like everyone's probably heard already, but it's literally common for people when they come out here at night to see whatever they call puck wedgies, giant balls of light that float towards you. They literally try and come near you. Ghosts, weird creatures. What? What the f So much so that authorities Try to convince people not to come here at nighttime. Do you know about the two boys that got lost in these woods? I know it. <gasps> I know it. It legit just said, I know it. What happened to them? How did they get lost? Who's you to say? Will. You will. I just asked about the ball of light. Probably. Probably. <laughs> what the f No, that's <gasps> freaky. I knocked. I knocked. I just heard a loud bang. They're known to knock on trees. Dude, this is starting to feel weird. This is starting to feel not good. Seriously, like what better time to take you some- You do not believe. You do not believe. What? Really what the f not believe I'm really here? Holy sh Show us. I have a message for you. What the f I have a message for you? What's the message? Can you give us that message? Dude, this is dangerous. Whatever we're doing right now. I will now, stay. I will stay. Break. Break. I will stay break. Can you tell us what's in this forest, please? Through this device right here in River's hand, can you tell us? Are we in the right place to find a skinwalker? We give just... us. Yeah. Haunt them. Haunt them. Haunt them. Where was that? Yeah, something's going on, man. Hey, my... In the dark. In, In the, the dark. dark. You good? <laughs> you okay? <laughs> it hit me in the face, though. Another one! Quiet! Someone's watching! Got it. Do not go! Don't Dude. go! We're getting attacked right now. Dude. It's like everything in this forest is trying to stop us, legit. Right? Whoa, that's we get weird. here and the weather is not bad at all. Hello? Are we where you want us to be? Or should we go further? Absolutely. Absolutely! Dude, this is getting a little scary. That's a voice. Hello? Are you a skinwalker? You said you're following. As the team investigated, the three of them began to hear knocks coming from the woods, then heard the movement of someone trying to move towards them. But that was only the beginning of the night. What if it's the two kids that got lost? What if they're telling us where to go? Like where they are? That or where the portal is right now? Did they ever find those kids? I'm pretty positive. He's over there. He's over there. That's what that just said? Yes. Yeah. It just said, yeah. It said he's over there. Who's over there? What we're looking for, obviously. We're looking for a skinwalker. I think these spirits or whatever it is is trying to direct us to the skinwalker. We're here. Skinwalker. Do you protect this forest? This swamp? Is it okay that we're here? Ooh. That was huge. 
Massive. That sounded like a rock. Yeah. You can tell us. Absolutely. Absolutely. Something's right in there, man. Need to speak. Need to speak. Guys, that was a double knock. That was like. Can you do that again? We heard that double knock. We won't go. We won't go. We won't go. That's because it's your land. Am I correct? There was a huge battle that the Native Americans fought here. Do you remember that? Is that the knock again? Mm -hmm. Yep. Or something being thrown? What the f Knock three times. That was it. That's right there. One, two, three. We're gonna walk back to where we were. We like that spot better. Maybe you can enjoy a conversation with us over there. Let's go. This is crazy, man. All of the sudden, there are knocks coming from the forest. But the most interesting thing is, when River asks for three knocks, something or someone responds. But have you seen anything else? It's hard to see, but a few of their viewers noticed something weird lurking in the woods. At some point, we can notice something hiding in the bushes. Zooming in, we see a strange humanoid silhouette with black eyes watching the crew all the time. Then the team gets tired of being in the woods and goes back to the car, where this time also a few viewers noticed something odd. Oh. The one that fell in the water. You might have to put that somewhere, it's starting to blink. I think the REM pod's picking up a ton of energy from the power lines. But they saw it. Right away they said flashing the lights or whatever, right. and then they said closed mm -hmm. or shut. They're watching us. Something is watching us. Should we try and do an EVP? Oh. Okay, I gotta stop this. I'm dead here. Okay, we are going to try to do an EVP and see if anything comes through that. That would be nice. This investigation has been very odd so far. Let's be honest. We go into the woods. The weather out of nowhere starts to go crazy. We get back to the car. The weather is completely fine. We walked an hour, maybe over an hour into Probably. the woods. We walked all the way back. There's no f way I'm gonna get out of the car now to go into the woods to have it get windy all over again for some weird reason that's just our luck tonight. But we are here in the car and we're gonna do an EVP, see how it goes. So let's do an EVP. I don't know if it's something paranormal, but at some point we see something moving next to the car. At first glance, we can tell that it looks like a branch. But I have a better question. What made that branch fall? Was it just the wind, or was something trying to get close to them? Nevertheless, this Hakomok swamp investigation was certainly exciting. But did they manage to prove that this place is so active? Has anyone tried to get close to them in this forest until it was accidentally recorded? Or maybe it's just random knocks caused by the wind and a figure our eyes want to see, but there's really nothing there. As usual, folks, I'll leave the final decision to you. Also, if you want to watch the full episode of this investigation, visit their YouTube channel, Twin Paranormal. The recording circulates on the internet, and it's not really known where it came from and who recorded it. But what's on it is truly horrifying. <laughs> When a man sings a melody to himself, a figure of a child emerges from the bushes. But as the man himself notices, and so do we, the boy looks a bit strange and deviates from the norm. His skin is pale, covered with strange wounds. He also moves in quite a scary way and follows the man all the time. Ku at one point is terrified and runs away, but a mysterious figure follows him all the time until the recording ends. What the hell was that, folks? Ghosts scaring random passers-by or maybe something darker? Choose wisely, folks. 
Jeff, Phil, and Mark from Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations went to Halstead this time, where they were asked to conduct an investigation in one of the houses there. The previous and current owners complain about the sinister activity of a man's ghost that scares people living in the building. The current owners, Jackie and Clive, complain of various paranormal phenomena. A team of ghost hunters decided to investigate this matter very thoroughly. Upon arrival setting up the equipment, the team began documenting the phenomena. From inexplicable bangs to captured EVPs, However, one incident will remain in Jeff's memory for a long time. We decide to take a break, which we have done on several occasions throughout the night. The light switch to turn on the kitchen light is behind an unused door in the hallway. The door opens only about six inches so the switch can be reached. On the other side of the door is a cupboard which stops the door from opening fully. As I open the door to reach the switch, I see and touch a hand which is covering the switch. It is solid and pale grey in colour. As I touch it and see it at the same time, I jerk backwards pulling my arm and shoulder. What? What was it? What happened? You okay? Go on. You all right? Yeah, I'm all right. What happened? It's f***ing hand on the door. You saw a hand on the door? No. On the other side? I f***ing hurt my arm as well. I yanked my arm. I pulled my arm back right back. It scared me for a second. I reached for the light switch. Yeah. And there was already a hand there. There's a fucking hand there. At one point during the investigation, Jeff heads to a small room. He tries to reach for the light switch, but to his surprise, instead of the switch, he touches a mysterious, creepy hand. He immediately looks inside and sees a grayish hand. Without a second thought, he pulls the hand away and he is terrified by the whole incident. So much that they end their investigation and take a break. The next night, they try to establish contact with the entity and record something equally mysterious. Kevin? He's walking, he's in, it's in front of me. Foot. Foot. It's in front of me. Foot. Yeah, that's where we caught you last time. That static's going right up through me, that is so heavy. Whoa! I just had a, f a huge breath beside me then. I oh, love no. oh, oh, no. It's that door there that you felt the hand. Feeling. Shit. Yeah. I feeling. That. I touched your hand, feeling, on the yeah, light switch. I was switch. Just talking about that as well. Uh, you stood in front of me because there is a cold pocket of air right on this step in front of me. You're standing on the step in front of me. It's, yeah. it's here. It's right here in front of me on the stairs. Yeah. That breath was fucking loud in my ear then. Whoa, that was right next to me. When Jeff and Mark are at the stairs, there is a very loud and clear breathing sound between them. They are both disturbed by the whole incident, but a few seconds later, they manage to capture this. There's a... There's a... Cold uh, breeze... It looked like a shadow went past you then. Behind, on, behind your left hand side towards the wall and right behind you. Literally a few seconds after hearing the ominous breathing, Mark catches a mysterious shadow appearing next to Jeff. The apparition shows out of nowhere and literally walks through Jeff and disappears. You probably think it's Mark's shadow, but neither he nor Jeff are moving at that moment. 
We can see it better on the second camera, which recorded the entire incident. But this is not the only interesting recording from a static camera directed towards the stairs. On the first day of the investigation, they managed to record something even more terrifying. Tell, tell me what you did, where you were based. Were you in this country or did you, were you, did you manage to go overseas, maybe to Africa or somewhere like that? Where did you meet your wife? Do you, do you want to talk about her or would you rather not? And it, it, you're going to need to try and communicate with us somehow, Kevin, because otherwise I'm just going to ask questions and I won't know whether I'm, you know, communicating with you and you're you're happy or whether I'm you know annoying you which I, I don't want to do movement on the stairs okay While Jeff and Phil are downstairs, a static camera records a shadow on the stairs. The apparition literally materializes out of nowhere and remains motionless for a minute to disappear just as Jeff and Phil are heading towards the stairs. What was that, folks? Did a team of ghost hunters catch a real ghost on camera not once, but twice? What did Jeff really see? Was it a ghost? Who knows? One thing is certain, this place is haunted and you probably won't go near it. But as usual, the final decision is yours. Also, if you want to watch a three-part investigation into this case, visit their YouTube channel Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations. Have you seen anyone levitating? You've probably seen videos of alleged shamans from time to time showing that they can do this. This time we will go to Africa, where we'll see something similar. In the recording, we see a levitating man who is floating quite far from the ground. In addition, there are people around who record everything carefully. Is this another show of a supposedly levitating shaman and hidden tricks? Or is what we see real superpowers? The next recording is very mysterious. It comes from a CCTV camera installed on the beach which was recording the passing Hurricane Laura. But it's not the weather conditions that we should focus on, but something else. While the hurricane rages outside, the figure heads towards the beach. When the man is at the shore, a mysterious ball of light appears before our eyes, which materialize literally out of nowhere. Soon after, the man disappears with her. What the hell was that, folks? Has this man been transported to another dimension? Let me know what you think about it. The team from the Fourth Wall Channel found a very interesting case. This time, we will see Maguro's stories. 
who lives in a stigmatized property, where he got a cat along with the apartment, which was owned by the previous owner. Not wanting to take care of the cat, he tried to communicate with the previous owner, but he had no contact with him, so he gave it to his good friends. But after some time, he got a call from his friends to come and check their house because they felt uncomfortable there. On the day of his arrival and interview, instead of the woman who contacted him, her husband decided to talk to Meguro. From the interview, we learned about a dark past where something had happened 20 years ago. Meguru was a little relieved because he thought that everything that was happening was because of the cat. Suddenly, we see his wife in the doorway, who is apparently not feeling well, and then we find out that she is possessed. After that, Meguru puts cameras on the rooms and waits for the phenomena. Nothing happens for a few days, but before the move, one disturbing incident happens. In the middle of the night, the man wakes up and goes into the living room, then stands still for a few seconds. Next, he sits by the door and stays there for a few minutes. Afterwards, he gets up and goes back to the bedroom. Most interestingly, the body of the previous owner was found in the place where he was sitting. And what is most terrifying is that probably the husband, not the wife, is possessed. Shortly after the moving, his wife tried to contact Meguro, but her husband took her cell phone and computer and became very aggressive. After a few weeks, the woman contacted Meguru again and stated that her husband's condition had improved and he no longer seemed to be possessed. But it's not over yet. At the same time, in their previous house, cameras were still working and recording everything that was happening. One of the cameras captured this. During the night when no one is at home, one of the cameras records something. 
The door next to which the man was lying and the body was found opens, and right behind them stands a mysterious white figure. Is this the ghost of the previous owner who died here? Or is the whole story just a well-prepared hoax? You are the judges, you decide. Also, if you want to watch the full episode and many more, visit their YouTube channel, Fourth Wall. The next video comes from the well-known and popular YouTube channel Outdoor Xiaolong, who this time decided to go to an abandoned hotel to conduct his paranormal investigation there. After several minutes spent inside, Xiaolong is in the kitchen where this happens to him. Suddenly, he hears the sound of breaking glass and plates. And then he crosses the dining room where he unwittingly records a spooky shadow in the entrance at the end of the room. Where a few minutes later, people in live chat send him a screenshot. But that was only the beginning of the horror. Someone said why the elevator door was opened. He seems to have forgotten that the elevator door was just open. Oh, <laughs> 
时候啊啊啊叫我，出来。给你们看一眼去啊！我操！啊！哇！哇！啊！哎！干啥呀？Over the next few minutes, Xiao Long experiences unexplained phenomena. Whether it's the elevator doors opening that don't work or the chairs that move towards him, but what he recorded next is goddamn scary. Oh, 靠你妈！嗯，出来！啊！啥？While exploring, Xiao Long decided to record with another phone and go down to the basement. The underground is flooded by water, so he stood and recorded in the stairwell. Suddenly, in the room, he noticed a mysterious, frightening figure of a woman who appeared for literally a few seconds and then disappeared without a trace. Horrified by what he saw, he goes back upstairs where he records something creepy by the haunted elevator. 我过去是不？哎，我过去啊！哎，我过你妈！傻逼才过去，看，来来来来
Né? Vai lá. Come on! Não, não é não. Você fala que você quer me ganhar, não é mesmo? Você tem que ir para o lado, você tem que ir para o lado, você tem que ir para o lado. E isso é bem mais difícil. Uuuuuh! Não é possível! Não é possível! Você tem dois dedos, né? This time, something even more disturbing happens. Once again, the cursed lift that didn't work opens, and then a creepy pale face emerges from below, scaring Xiaolong even more, who moments later ends his investigation and leaves the building. So, did he manage to record terrifying ghost figures and unexplained paranormal activity during his livestream, or is it just a well-crafted hoax? The final decision is yours. Also, if you want to watch the full three-part investigation and many more, visit his YouTube channel Outdoor Xiaolong. The next video is from TikTok user Pedro O R D Z 99, who is a truck driver. One night, he managed to record something very disturbing on the road. In the middle of the night, near the railway crossing, we can see a little girl in a ditch. The girl notices the driver and even raises her hand. Of course, the most important question that arises is, why is the child alone in the middle of nowhere and at night? This is a really unusual situation. What do you folks think? What was that kid doing there that night? Gushan, Daishan, and Yazuki this time went with the guide to the most haunted places in the Kanto region. In the first and second locations, they failed to record anything. But when they arrived at the allegedly haunted tunnel, things took a slightly different turn. <laughs> As Gashan walks through the tunnel alone, he notices a hole, which turns out to be a small shaft from which strange noises start to come out. Gashan returns to the team and after a short conversation, decides to go there again. で。1つ目の穴がこちら。なんだろうね、これは。あ、これか。あ。
あでかいなトンネルの途中にこんな横穴があるのはあまり見たことがないですねこっちも水浸しだもんなちょっとひとまずここで定点設置してみようと思いますはい、ここで一旦ガシャンを入れてみますガシャンは何も感じなかったのでガシャンは何も感じなかったのでガシャンは何も感じなかったのでガシャンは何も感じなかったのでガシャンは何も感じなかったのでガシャンは何も感じなかったのでガシャンは何も感じなかったのでガシャンは何も感じなかったのでガシャンは何も感じなかったのでガシャンは The building was established in 1879. The prison was an active unit until the end of 1995. For decades, stories have maintained that the old jail is haunted by the inmates and staff members of the past. Ghost hunters who have braved the building have reported uncomfortable and uneasy feelings the slamming of the cell door, shadowy figures throughout the jail, mysterious voices that can't be explained, equipment failures and malfunctions. Unexplained banging, apparitions, and physical interactions. Ian from the YouTube channel Midwest Ghost Hunter decided to go to this scary place all by himself to check all the rumors and experience for himself if all these stories are true. I hear that there's a man by the name of Ed Townsend. I heard that you were the sheriff here. You passed away from a heart attack. But they say that somehow you're still here. <gasps> Holy shit, dude. Dude, those were footsteps. Holy shit. Walking in that room over there. Dude, that literally came from back there. Damn. Did you just walk? Was that you just walking? I freaking heard you. Holy moly. Hello? I think I heard somebody down here. Could you make a sound again? Little person? Are you a spirit? Or a living being? To be honest, I don't even know if this thing would speak English. I don't even know. What? Whoa. Dude, I think I just saw something. It's like a lot of the ground. Not long after he began his solitary investigation, Ian heard clear footsteps. Then, while in the basement, he managed to capture the orb. But it was only the beginning of the night, and the most exciting phenomena were yet to come. Are you in there? Dude, what if it snatches my arm? <laughs> I hear you. He's gotta be down here. Oh. Oh. 
Brock just got thrown at me. Oh. Are you a female spirit? What is your name? Did you once live here? Oh, oh what the fuck? What the heck was that? Dude, something just hit me in the freaking head. What the heck was that? <gasps> Whoa! What? Is that a ring? Oh my god. Dude, I just got hit in the head with a freaking ring. While still in the basement, a stone is thrown at Ian, and a few seconds later, another one, which scares him so much that he runs upstairs where he is also hit, this time with something completely different, a ring, which was thrown down the stairs above him. After these experiences, Ian goes to the cells where he manages to record this. While doing more photography, I capture yet another photo, this time what appears to be orangish eyes staring at me through the bars. Just checking in. Not only did I not notice this capture, I would also receive a threatening message on the voice recorder. Making sure y'all are in your cells, like you're supposed to be. I had no idea that this entity was threatening my life, and nothing could prepare me for what was about to occur. decision. Come on, Ian. Just go. Just do it. Oh. 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hope I didn't piss you off. Oh. Oh, just one look. Oh, just one look. Just one look. Holy shit. Holy shit. Dude, this whole cell is destroyed. Did I make you angry? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to piss you off. While shooting the cell in one of the photos, we see creepy glowing eyes staring straight at Ian. Literally moments later, behind him, the door to the cell slams shut, and something inside knocks things over. Ian collects the last courage and decides to visit the cells. But the moment he enters, the unknown force hits him in the chest, which makes him run away from there and end the investigation. Has he been able to record the activity of the sinister poltergeist on the camera that haunts Blackford County Jail? Was everything Ian experienced that dark night in this terrifying place an explained phenomena? Or do you folks have a rational explanation for all of it? At the end, the final decision is yours. Also, if you want to watch the full episode, visit his YouTube channel, Midwest Ghost Hunter. TikTok user Follow Pete and Ash is another of many interesting cases. The couple live practically in a remote area and own a large plot of land. 
It is unknown when they began to hear strange noises that usually herald something paranormal. They both decided to record them and post them on TikTok. Here's what they recorded. Icarus, come here. Come here, kitty. Come on. It's Icarus. Where'd you go? God, I can't see anything. Don't make me go back there. Come on. Come here. Back here again. Fuck. What? At the beginning, we can hear strange but also scary noises, resembling the moans of children or some animals. It wasn't dangerous, but after an interesting case with phantom footsteps, it started to be more and more disturbing. We clearly hear someone running towards the man, but he can't see a thing. But that was only the beginning, and the phenomena began to gain strength. This time, their camera in the forest captured something mysterious, a white humanoid creature that looks like a rake. The next recording is even scarier. We can hear the same noises as the figure standing alone in the forest. Suddenly, the silhouette raises its head and looks with glowing eyes at the man who doesn't think twice and runs away. By now, this thing was getting closer and closer to marriage. Time passed and the thing was getting closer. This time, the creature is coming closer and closer to them. In the woods near their house, a dark figure emerged from behind the trees and started running towards the camera. In the next video, during a quiet night at home, a white creature emerged from behind a bush and started crawling towards their home. What do you folks think about these recordings? Is there a mysterious and dangerous creature on their territory? Is what they managed to record the rake that haunts them? And where do the bizarre noises come from? Or a better question would be, what creature is making them? So many questions, but one thing is for sure. These videos are interesting and puzzling. What do you think? Real rake or another TikTok hoax? As always, the final decision is yours. 
Also, if you want to watch these and other recordings, visit their TikTok, follow Pete and Ash. Frank from the Franco TV channel is in Chile this time. He went deep into the mountains where his destination was a haunted tunnel that is known for a lot of paranormal activity. There is also an interesting dark story circulating around this place. Apparently, anyone who enters the tunnel will lose their minds and go crazy. Seemingly, this has happened several times in history. That's why many people avoid this place, but not Frank. He decided to go there alone at night to see if the rumors were true. I'm gonna go check it out. I'm gonna go grab my stuff though. Let's see if I could put my stuff away here. Put this in the box here. This thing is still going off. Lovely herb rocks going down over there. Come on, there we go. What happened to me? Holy oh, God, that was just, that was the ovulus. That just freaked me the hell out. Let me see if I could hear it. Hello? I don't think my flashlight has a brighter setting. After spending time inside, Frank packs his equipment and leaves the tunnel. As he's about to leave, he hears something creepy. The voice of a girl asking him for help. Frank immediately runs and checks that no one is with him in the tunnel, but he is alone. Was it a voice from a ghost asking for help or just someone passing by? Will is a YouTuber who travels in a converted van where he lives. On his channel, we will find typical recordings from everyday life in the vehicle as well as his trips around the country. But on one of these trips, something disturbing happened. During his next journey, he stopped overnight in a parking lot near where he used to live with his parents. After eating dinner, Will went to sleep but was awakened in the middle of the night. I don't think I'm going to be getting much sleep tonight. There are people about a hundred meters away, blazing music out, at least some good songs anyway, and some people screaming. Wish me luck, everybody. Will was awakened by loud screams and moans, which turned out to be some teenagers fooling around nearby. But what is disturbing is why they made such strange noises. What do you think? What were they really doing that night? Let me know in the comments below. Another video is from TikTok user Jay Barari. You may remember Jen because I've shown videos of her allegedly haunted mansion once before. The woman has been publishing recordings on TikTok for over two years. Be it strange anomalies or mysterious figures caught on CCTV camera. A few months have passed since the last featured, and the woman captured another inexplicable phenomena.
with you all the way downstairs and I heard that, so. Heard it, saw it. There's clearly nothing on this, like whatsoever. This is f insane. I can't believe this. And it's heavy as sh It's really heavy. <sighs> Jesus. Oh my goodness. Ooh. I'm so sorry. I did not mean to say that. <sighs> Hello? Hello? Yeah, like, I'm sorry that I curse and... Okay. Okay, can you stop? Oh my... Okay, please stop! Moving objects, weird sounds, or flashing lights were just the beginning. just walked outside. Okay, this is the garden over here. You can't really see. Let me shine a flashlight. Um, here's the area, you know, the camera points to. Who would be out here in the pitch black? Did you hear that? In the first video, we can see a mysterious little figure standing motionless. Moments later, light comes out of it. The woman checks the area after less than 10 minutes, but no one is there. In the next video, we see an even more disturbing situation. Previously, the figure was recorded when the woman was not around. This time, Jen goes out and records the self-moving swing. But what she doesn't capture is even more creepy. At the same time, a CCTV camera records the mysterious figure of a woman standing next to a swing that is not in Jen's video. Again, a couple of days go by where one night Jen wakes up and records this.
You guys hear that? Terrifying moans and inhuman sounds emanating from the middle of the forest terrified the woman. Suddenly, we see something interesting among the trees, a white bizarre anomaly standing still. That we don't see earlier and after, but what they recorded right after that is even more terrifying. That light was the moon. What the f is that? It's like white mists running around the room. In one of the buildings in the window, we see a dark figure walking inside. A few seconds later, we see white mist moving, which scares the woman even more. What do you think about it, folks? Is Jen still haunted by apparitions that manifest their presence, or is it something even darker? As always, you are the judges, you decide. Also, if you want to watch all the videos, visit Jen TikTok J Barari. Takeyushi is in an abandoned hotel this time, where, during the intro, this happens. みなさま、While filming the intro, Takeyushi begins to hear the presence of someone else in the building. At the same time, one of his static cameras captures a mysterious shadow in another room. Takeyushi decides to take the camera and check the source of the sound.
や猫かななんか猫のような気がしてきたけどでも絶対こっちから音がしてんねんなあなんもないなえええええ嘘嘘嘘ちょっと待ってちょっと待ってちょっとちょっとちょっと待って,ちょっと待ってマジいや今動いたえ椅子動いたよな今いるなマジか While inspecting one of the rooms the chair moved violently right in front of his eyes in the same room he's going to turn on the thermal camera what it records terrifies him even more これで居場所を探ろう<笑>おるおるおるおるマジマジマジいるいるいるほら座ってる座ってる座ってるほら座ってる座ってる座ってるほら椅子に座ってるマジマジマジマジちょっと待って On one of the chairs, there is a silhouette of a man who seems to be sitting there. This and other phenomena scare Takeyushi even more, who decides to continue his investigation. After the chair moved next to him, he recorded the mysterious figure on the thermal imaging camera, and the object fell right behind his back. He's definitely had enough. Frightened to his limit, He flees the building and completes his investigation. What had he really experienced that night in the abandoned hotel? Did he catch the shadow figure at the very beginning? How did the chair move by itself? What was the mysterious silhouette on the thermal imaging camera? One thing is certain this investigation will stay in his head for a long time. What do you folks think about this, real or fake? Decide. The Foreman brothers, Josh, Sean, and Rocky from the Paranormal Nightmare TV series channel, went on another investigation. Mark and his wife decided to buy a house in 2021. Literally the day they moved in, paranormal activity was activated. Mark heard voices and saw the figure of a boy with blonde hair who started playing hide and seek with him. But when Mark checked the entire house, It turned out that there was no one there. For over two years, Mark and his family have been experiencing unexplained phenomena almost every day. Being helpless with what was happening in his house, he asked the team of ghost hunters for help. After arriving at the site, Josh, Sean, and Rocky set up their equipment, which literally, from the very beginning, received strange signals. The team then began their investigation. And soon discovered why the place was so haunted. My name's Sean. Can you tell me what your name is? Do you hear that? That's not a loud thump upstairs. If you're upstairs, can you come down here?
I swear. What? I thought I seen something go across, like from right here, across there. What the hell's that? The heck? It's not sound like something was clearing its throat. Yeah. While Sean and Rocky are in the basement, their camera records a mysterious shadow moving behind Sean. So, what was it? Unable to explain the phenomenon, Sean decides to stay home alone. That music box got nuts. My baby. <gasps> my baby. It said scream, my baby. Who's your baby? Are you looking for your baby? And you think that music box kind of is what somebody may have had if they would have, you know, in the room. So, am I not talking to a kid? Is this an adult? Are you looking for your baby? There's no baby inside that room. What the hell was that? What the heck's going on here? Uh, that was scary. Hello? <laughs> What in the heck? You hear that kid? What is going on here? Why do I keep hearing a woman? This time, Sean, who is completely alone in the building, hears a woman's voice several times, which is also captured by the camera. A few minutes later, Sean switches with Josh, who goes to the basement. I command you in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, to show yourself. Show me how powerful you are. You move stuff inside this house. You scare people. Do something to me right now. Come on, you can scare the family. You can break things inside this house. What else can you do? I'm going to shut that off right now. I come to the basement and I get this sense of anger that I haven't had throughout the entire house. I'm not for sure whatever's here is a child. Something just touched my hand. <laughs> ah! Sean! Sean! Holy mother... It felt like somebody was in there. What was that? Go, go, go! While Josh is in the basement, a heavy object falls on the floor, scaring Josh and calling his brother Sean. So, folks, what really happened that night in that haunted house? Is what Rocky caught on camera a real shadow? Who was trying to communicate with Sean? There are only two answers. Everything can be explained and debunked, or worse, the house is inhabited by a sinister spirit. You are the judges. You decide. Also, if you want to watch the full episode, visit their YouTube channel, Paranormal Nightmare TV Series. In the next recording, we will not see ghosts or any paranormal topics. We'll see something creepier that's real. I'm right here. Come on. I'm right here. Come here. Come this on. is as close as I'm going to get, baby. Here. I think you're going to bite my no. toes. No. Mm. I'm not going to hurt you. Oh my gosh, you're so Come sweet. Here. Uh -uh. I, I'm no. a little bit. Come you're, just, you're just so strong. Come here. You're so Come strong. Here. What's the matter? I don't want you to bite me. No. I'm not gonna hurt you.
up. Oh. Oh, man. You're so sweet. No, baby. What's your problem, Barbie? Nothing. I, I love you. I just said, no. oh. I, I think we just need some time before we do that, okay? No. See, that's Come why. Here. What's your matter? I still think you're going to bite me. No. I'm sorry. What's yeah. See? Hey! <laughs> that's why. <laughs> See? You, you scared me. You tried to hurt me. I'm not gonna hurt you. But you tried to. You tried to just now, Barley. I don't know if it's just me, but this parrot is really creepy. In addition, when it speaks in that strange voice, that I won't hurt you, and moments later attack the woman, it's really disturbing. I don't know about you folks, but I wouldn't want a pet like that. Chris from the channel Urbex Hill once again went on a dangerous exploration. This time he went to East Cleveland, Ohio, where over 1,300 buildings are abandoned, and crime is one of the highest in the US. But this did not discourage Chris, who decided to explore several buildings that are located in the area. What happened in one of them is really dangerous. Smells like it's down here, but it could just be somebody outside smoking. Oh shit, somebody's definitely down here. As Chris explored the abandoned apartment in his basement, he stumbled upon something. In one of the rooms, there was a backpack, but its contents terrified Chris the most. Later, it was only worse. Suddenly, he heard footsteps approaching. He quickly hid. Then a few seconds later, there were two men who took the backpack with its contents. Chris, after waiting a moment, ran away as far as possible. Who did he meet that day? Were they dangerous people? What did they need the backpack for? 
One thing's for sure, East Cleveland is dangerous as hell. Braun Y. Garth Hospital opened its doors in 1839, becoming the Festinia Public Assistance Institution in 1930, before joining the National Health Service as Braun Garth Hospital in 1948. It was closed in 2009, but not everyone seems to have left. With cells for vagrants, empty corridors, and unused wards, all boasting paranormal activity from poltergeist to loud footsteps, full apparitions to doors slamming, and cries of anguish and giggling children. The team from the most haunted official channel, Carl and Stuart, decided to investigate this place. After they started their exploration, it didn't take long for them to experience paranormal activity. If you, we know you're here and you're trying to communicate with us. Um, and please don't take this the wrong way. I'm, I'm just frustrated. I've seen something and I'd love to see it again. I heard something and I'd love to hear it again. Can you do that while we're in this room? Just make a sound. Please. Me. That was here. Did you hear that? I did. I did. That was a drag. We got it on camera. Can you do that again? Definitely got the sound on. I'm standing where I heard the noise. Can you do it again? There we go. We got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Yep. The crap out of me. I'm yep. right by me. I'm, 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 I'm literally, I'm, I'm panning down uh, to where your knees are. What? So we've got, we've got the flooring, but we've got that. Can you do something? Can you open a drawer? Can you slam a drawer? Can you make a sound? Can you... Knock the filing cabinet over. <laughs> hell, what the f but why the Whoa! Cabinet? Why the filing cabinet? What's what the what f happened with this filing cabinet for that to happen? I just don't like it. For yeah. That was a bang. Did you? Yeah, f yeah, hell. yeah absolutely. Yeah. There is nothing that could. This, I need to have a look inside. That, I mean, there's nothing in any of these drawers. There is nothing in any of these drawers that were made. Hello? Are you f***ing kidding me? What? You've got to be shitting right and look. The dragging noises on the floor, the banging of a drawer, or a rock being thrown next to Stuart were just the beginning. There's no one that end of the room, and there's no one this end of the room. Now that was something slamming. That was it. That was it. That was the sound. Can you do it again? Please, can you do this again? Can you make that sound? What the f was that? Hello? That was like somebody laughing. Okay, how about if I close you? Can you open the door? Can you open the door? What the f***ing camera? Come on, come on, come on. Right, that was a huge bang, a huge bang. Speak to me. Weirdly enough, after coming into this room, I don't feel like me. Feel too bad, I was going to say. I just wish they'd talk to me instead. Oh. 
Okay, I got that. I'm going. Something whispered in my ear, go. Something whispered in my ear, go. I hope I caught that because I am going. I'm sorry, I'm going. This time, Carl experiences various supernatural phenomena that he cannot explain. All this accumulates when someone whispers, go, in his ear, which makes it too much for him and ends the investigation. Did the team manage to confirm that this place is haunted and this building is a hotspot for paranormal phenomena? Or maybe it's just a well-prepared hoax. You are the judges. You decide. Also, if you want to watch the full episode, visit their YouTube channel, Most Haunted Official. Mo from the Mo Sarji channel with his friend Adam went on a four-hour journey to the forest where Slenderman had been spotted a few days earlier. Of course, not like this one, but the mythical figure that people notice in these areas. And in addition, a ritual was performed in the place where they planned to camp. After reaching the place and covering most of the area where the entity was seen, they decided to sit in one place and wait. We had to switch up our gear, warmer gear. It's going to be a, a long, cold night. It's evening time right now. We've heard some weird freaking noises. But like I said, we're staying under this canopy. We're pretty shielded from the wind. Um, if you look above, it's pretty cool. We have like a, a shelter. Are we going to get killed by the Slenderman guy or what? I hope not, man. That ritual over there was freaky. I think what I want to do though, like later on at nighttime, is actually go back to where that ritual was and see if we can find more evidence. Right? Like, why is that just sitting there? You actually you know? want to go back there, man? Yeah, like later at nighttime, though, not right now. Yeah. I, I got to pee, though. Here, you can take that. You can just chill here. Yeah, it'll be. Yo, don't be too long. As you guys can see, it's almost evening. Daddy Moe's got to go and pee. Whoa, ho! Whoa! Bro! Bring the camera, bring the camera. Bring the camera. Uh, He's gone. I just fucking saw somebody. Where, 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 where? Oh my god, I just saw somebody. What the hell are you talking about? Like, just, uh, like somebody running or something? I just saw somebody over there. Where? where? There was someone standing right there. I got, I'm pretty sure I found it on my phone. You got it? You got a shot of it? I'm pretty sure I did. It was like standing right there. There was something there. Bro, I'm not yeah. staying here tonight. Can you me? No, we're staying here tonight. We just seen something. I saw something literally right here in this area. Dude, it was tall. It was big. And it was literally like, it was, it was like Slenderman. You saw like, Slenderman? Actually Slenderman-like. When Mo goes to take a pee, the mysterious black figure stands motionless a short distance away. Mo runs to get Adam, but when they look at the same place together, no one is there anymore. After what one of them saw with their own eyes, they both decide to thoroughly search the entire area. Bro, I swear to God, I saw what looked like a fucking Slenderman figure. And that's near the ritual area, 100%. Bro, I gotta pee. I was literally just going to pee. This is this is exactly where kind of like I saw him, but like on the sand part. Like, <gasps> oh, oh, Yo! what the? F is that him? There's so there's something black there. Yo, I can't zoom in. Hold on, I gotta get my camera. So my 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 camera. Bro, he's right there. What the? F I saw a black figure around there. Bro, I'm pretty sure I got it on my fucking camera. That's where we were sleeping. Or trying to sleep. That's our campsite. Right Yo, there. No, I'm not sleeping here tonight, man. Are you kidding me? My bag is over there. You left the, the, the knife in there? Okay. Take that. That's a weapon. I heard something. I heard something. As they search the place where Mo noticed a figure, literally in the place where they were sitting a few minutes later, the same terrifying black figure appears. And just as it appears out of nowhere, it disappears without a trace. The men clearly don't intend to sleep in this area anymore. They decide to take their things and go to the car. 
definitely somebody walking here. So. Yo, I just saw something go across into the pond. No. Into the water. There's something walking. Where, here in the water? Bro, I heard something in there. Yo, what the fuck was that? Yo, come here, come here, come here, come here. Where are you going? Huh? Where are you going, bro? I'm, I'm looking around. I heard something. So we've been actually, like, trying to find... We're almost actually out of the forest. We're trying to find whatever the hell it is that we saw earlier. I'm knee deep in like swamp water. I swear to God, bro, I thought I saw him going into here. I can hear something. Huh? Bro, what if it's in here? Bro, I swear I just pulled the shit out of myself. Yo, I have an idea. I have an idea. What if I take like night photos? I'm gonna take a couple night photos here. Hold the camera, keep it recording no matter what. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna take some night photos on my iPhone. Maybe we can spot him like hiding in the bushes. Dude, I heard I heard something over there. Turn your turn your flashlight off. Okay. Bro, if I capture this dude, or somebody on camera right now, you, you're still recording, right? Yeah. <coughs> okay, I took a bunch of them. Okay. Bro, that's so creepy. <gasps> oh, what the f is that? What the f is that? It just popped up right now? Oh my god. What the f is that? Bro, that's exactly the same scene. The, exactly the same. Where's my flashlight? Where's the flashlight? flashlight. Turn it on. Show, show that area. Bro, that's exactly between those two f***ing trees. We just took this f***ing photo. Yo, man, please. Let's get the f*** out of here. Let's get the f*** out of here, man. First, when they are going along the path, they hear someone walking right next to them. Mo then tries to locate the source of the noises. Unfortunately, the night and darkness make it difficult for him so he decides to take a few photos with his phone in night mode. In one of them, they manage to record something literally terrifying. A few feet away from them, they spotted a mysterious black silhouette, which they had already caught twice that day. This time, the apparition appeared right before their eyes. After what they managed to catch, they immediately go to the car and drive away from this creepy place. What did they actually capture during their stay in the forest? Is the mysterious black figure the real mythical Slender Man? Or maybe good editing and CGI skills? As usual, you decide. Shiro from the channel Kuroshiro was contacted by his viewer. In the message, the man wrote that he lives in Fukushima Prefecture. From time to time, he walks past a building that has been abandoned for many years, where several times he has noticed a mysterious figure that looked like a ghost. Shiro decided to look for some information about what could have happened in the building, but he couldn't find anything. Despite this, Shiro went to this place where, right after entering inside, he began to hear inexplicable sounds and noises. What he managed to record on his static camera is spooky.
あれこれはなかったっけあこれ押さえてるかウェンシロウは、第1フロアを探索する。スタティックカメラが置かれているのです。でも、その後、私たちは、その人が見ているのです。その後、その人が見ているのです。その後、その人が見ているのです。その後、その人が見ているのです。その後、その人が見ているのです。その後、その人が見ているのです。その後、その人が見ているのです。その後、その人が見ているのです。その後、その人が見ているのです。This time, Kevin and Alexis went to the most popular park in Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. It's not the abandoned or dangerous place they usually visit. It is a public place available to everyone. What prompted them to visit this place was the dark legend of a woman who was supposedly killed there. Since then, strange sightings of a mysterious woman and terrifying screams coming from the park have been reported. The team decided to check it out and go to this seemingly quiet place at night. Se los muestro porque luego hay muchas personas que creen y piensan que hacemos las investigaciones muy temprano y eso no es así. Ya estamos listos. Vamos, güey. Vamos. Justamente aquí tenemos la entrada. Uf. Creo que hay una persona, güey. Hay que tener cuidado nada más, eh. Vamos a, a meternos hasta el fondo, güey. Right at the very beginning, at the entrance of the park, they managed to capture a figure. But let me remind you that this is a park, and it could have been anyone. But what they captured a little later is harder to explain. Ay, güey. Aún sigo. Aún sigo con mucha adrenalina, güey. Pero machín. No mames. No mames. ¿Qué pedo, güey? Kevin. Kevin, si ¿sí lo estás viendo, güey. ¿Estás viendo eso? No mames, no mames, güey. Hay alguien ahí, güey. Está ahí sentado, sí. Hay alguien ahí sentado, güey. No mames, es una persona, güey. Ahí. No, no mames, güey. Eso sí es una persona, güey. No mames. Hazle zoom, güey. Hazle zoom, hazle zoom. Hazle zoom. Ya, ya, voy, 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 espérame. No mames. ¿Qué pedo? Ve, 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 ve. ¿Sí se ve en tu cámara, güey? Ya le puse el zoom, güey. Ahí está, ahí está, es sentado. ¿Qué es eso, güey? No sé. No sé qué es eso. Buenas noches. Güey, mejor ni le hables, güey. No sabemos qué, güey. Buenas noches. Disculpe, buenas noches. No, güey, no, 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 no le estés hablando, que... Amigo. ¿Necesita ayuda, amigo? No sabemos qué, qué. Amigo, ¿se encuentra bien? ¡No mames! ¿Qué pedo, güey? ¿Qué ¿Escuchaste no ese grito, güey? Kevin, no mames, ¿qué pedo, güey? No mames. Wey. ¿Qué pedo, güey? No, 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 qué pedo con eso, güey. Eso... ¿Qué pedo con ese no, grito, güey? No sé, eso no está bien, güey. A la madre, güey. ¿Qué onda, güey? ¿Fue de afuera o qué fue, güey? No sé, no sé, no sé, güey. Pero eso fue alguien, güey. Eso sí fue alguien, güey. Ya no está, güey. No mames. 
Güey, ya no está. Hazle zoom, hazle zoom, hazle zoom. Ya, 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 güey, no está, güey, no se ve, güey. No se ve, ¿verdad? No. On the path in front of them, the men notice a mysterious figure sitting on the bench. Kevin tries to communicate with the entity, but to no avail. A moment later, the figure releases a terrifying scream. The men look around, but when their eyes return to the bench, no one is there. They decide to search the area and find the apparition. Ah, no. Wey. ¿Qué? ¿Lo estás viendo? ¿Qué pedo, wey? ¿Sí lo estás viendo? Sí. Cáptalo, wey. Cáptalo, cáptalo, cáptalo. Grábalo, grábalo. Grábalo, wey. ¿Qué es eso? Ve, 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 ve. Ve eso. Dime que lo estás grabando, güey. Dime que lo estás grabando. No mames, no mames. Buenas. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. No mames. ¿Qué era eso, güey? No sé, güey. No sé, güey. Está bien raro, güey. After a few minutes of searching, the team manages to capture the apparition once again, which moves in a very strange way, hiding behind a building. Kevin and Alexis carefully approach and check the area, but once again, the apparition has vanished into thin air. Did they manage to capture a real ghost on camera while they were there? Or was everything we saw just a hoax? You decide, folks. TikTok user N Ants in the Pants is another person whose recordings about ghosts or paranormal phenomena are hard to find. Even though Nancy is a part-time paranormal investigator, she does not publish content related to the investigation on TikTok. This all changed one day when one of her cameras caught something strange. In early January, I woke up from a nap. I could hear my son and my husband Mike playing downstairs. For some reason, something told me to look at the baby monitor on an app I have on my phone. This is what I saw and I immediately started screen recording. I walk into the room and could not see anything with the naked eye floating around bug, dust, etc. I even turned on the light to see if I could see anything with the naked eye. Nothing. Whatever this was seemed to hover around my son's Play-Doh stuff and the chair. Right now I am just watching it through the Ring app and screen recording it through my phone. I started to communicate with it. I asked whatever it was to touch my hand. I try again, but in a different spot, and something interesting happened. It seems to freak out a little when I held my hand out again, like it's thinking about touching it but then freaks out and tries to find a way around my hand. So I decided to get up and leave the room. I told whatever it was that I was going to let them play with my son's toys as long as they respect our space, respect my son, and refrain from scaring him. It kept hovering around the Play-Doh and share even when I was gone. At this point, Mike gets a notification that there is movement in my son's room. It was me leaving the room. He sees the ball of light through the Ring app on his phone so he comes upstairs and we check it out together. We continue to see the ball of light in the dark, but not with the naked eye. We can only see it through the Ring app on my Mike phone. And I left the room, and now it's not there anymore. What in the actual F? Oh my god.
Where is that? So I'm a part-time paranormal investigator as well, but the equipment kind of confuses me still. So I'm trying to figure out if this is something with like infrared light or something like that. I'm not really quite sure I understand. <laughs> But if anybody can help me, it just, it seemed intelligent and it was responding to what I was doing. Baby's monitor in her son's room captures a strange light anomaly. Most of you probably thought it was just some insect, but here's where it gets interesting. The anomaly only flies over her son's toys. And when Nancy enters the room and stands next to the anomaly, it flies in the same place without any changes. Interestingly, this thing is only visible on the baby monitor. What do you think about it, folks? Ghost, insect, or maybe you have some ideas? Another recording, this time from the rink camera, which one night it caught something unexplained. We see two people who appear to be wearing pajamas. They walk as if in hypnosis towards the forest, where, if you look closely, there is a terrifying tall and human figure hiding. Is this a skinwalker caught on camera luring people into a trap, or is it just a hoax? Choose wisely, folks. Lomar and his girlfriend Chelsea go to Daggerwoods, where a wendigo or skinwalker is said to be. The local people say that these lands are cursed and hardly anyone has the courage to go there. People passing through the forest have repeatedly heard mysterious and inexplicable sounds coming from the woods. Also, a huge number of people saw humanoid figures that look like monsters. After hearing the story of this place, Lomar and Chelsea went deep into the woods where at some point they realized that everything they heard could be true. What the f is that? Like, there's a weird ass smell. I know, and it's getting stronger. Yeah. Like, it's almost like burning my nostrils. I don't know which way we came from. What in the? F what in the? F what in the? F Charles, that rock just got flown over the trees. That rock just got thrown. Whoa. Whoa. the tree line. Just that literally came over the tree line. I went to go up to you like towards this way and the freaking rock just came out of nowhere. I just heard a breath. Stay there. Can I see a flashlight quick? Hello? Oh, what the What the fuck? 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 What the First, the couple smelled an unpleasant odor that grew stronger and stronger. Then a stone was thrown in their direction. Seconds later, they heard a terrifying whining groan, which made them decide to get out of the forest as soon as possible and drive away. Did they come across something dangerous during their trip to this sinister place? Did they encounter a wendigo or was it a skinwalker? Nevertheless, folks, it's better not to venture into these areas because, who knows, maybe some legends are true. 
A team of ghost hunters from the channel Guancagua P this time went to an abandoned mill where a brutal murder was committed. This case happened 10 years ago. The husband suspected his wife of having an affair for a long time. One day, he had had enough and dragged the woman to the mill at night, where he finally killed her in the building. After the body was found, none of the employees intended to work there, and the building was vacated soon after. Since then, hardly anyone ventures into those areas because it is said to be haunted there. The team went there, where during the investigation, they captured this. เดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวจะพูดช่วยเชิญเขาก่อนงั้นทวนเงียบๆไปนะเงียบๆอ่ะนิ้วพูดเลยขออัญเชิญสัมภเวสีนะครับหรือสิ
True. Ay, güey, hey. Ay, cabrón. No seas mamón. No te pases de mamón. No mames. Déjalo ver esto. Uy, cabrón. ¿Vieron? 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 Uy, no seas mamón. Immediately after the ritual in one of the rooms, he notices a small dark silhouette of a child, which quickly disappears. The man immediately runs and checks who it was, but there is no one. Was it a real ghost or just a hoax? Decide, folks. The next video is quite intriguing. Comes from YouTuber Sophie Danger Heart, who has only one video on his channel that he published 14 years ago. Bang, no, eh? Ah, boom, from the car. Just do scare you, Sue. Stop! Boy, boy. As the couple heads towards the beach, a mysterious black silhouette emerges from the undergrowth and heads towards them. The couple moves away as quickly as possible, and the recording stops. Was it something paranormal? What was it? A ghost, an alien, or maybe a mystical creature? Or, most obviously, CGI? Real or fake? Decide, folks. Edgar Hernandez and his crazy crew this time went to a cave that is allegedly inhabited by the devil himself. No, no, no vimos nada aquí adentro, pero a la era lo que se siente es otro mundo, José. No, mames, te lo juro, pero es que nunca había sentido esa presión tan perra. ¿Todo bien, güero? ¿Qué güero? Siento como que alguien nos está siguiendo, güey. ¿Alguien nos está siguiendo? Pero está todo vacío. Verga. ¿Qué onda? ¿Eh? ¿Eh? Se oye bien feo. ¿Qué? Güero, que se oye bien feo acá, dice pollo. ¿Me escucha? ¿Qué? Hace rato ahorita ya asumé a ir a comer, estoy temblando. Hace ¿Qué? rato que me bajé y se escuchó un. Te lo juro, carnal. ¿Se te ve de... ¿No está la graba el sonido? Sí, es ambiental también. No mames, neta, pollo. Sí, carnal. Hombre o mujer. Como un hombre, pero así como quejándose. Oh, la verga. Para hacia allá, donde están los altares. Hay más altares, güero. Verga, qué mamada. Huevos rotos, carnal. Huevo roto. No vayas a agarrar aire de ahí, güero. Hazte para acá. Hazte para acá. Que con tan solo olerlo te puede hacer mal, güey. Mira, estás hasta temblando de la mano, güero. ¿Estás bien? Sí, estoy bien. Sí, gente, disculpen sí. si se salen las tomas muy movidas o qué sé yo. De verdad, estar aquí. Es respeto, mi gente. Implanta, implanta. Mira, es que sí, de verdad, yo los estoy viendo como que sí les. No, me, me duelen los hombros, me duele la parte es, de acá. Es la misma de la carga, nuca, es la misma güey. carga. Mira, mira que Carlos está hasta temblando, loco. Ah, vamos, no. vamos a empezar a bajar, güey. Poquito, mucho, poquito. Cabeza, vamos a bajar poquito a poquito, mi gente. La neta, lo que se vio allá adentro. Verga. Está cabrón. Oye, 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 oye. Oíste. Güey, ya fue adentro. Fue adentro. Verga, mi gente. No mames, se oyó aquí en corto, güey. Si fue adentro, vaya adentro. No chingas a tu madre, güey. Vete a la verga. Es pendejo, quítate, quítate. Si fue. Quítate, 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 quítate. Quítate, quítate, quítate. No mames. Cuidado, güey, cuidado. Cuidado. Güero, cuidado. Tú que vienes hasta atrás, no dejen al güero, güey. Fósil. Verga, loco, huele un montón a ese líquido. Agua, güero. Recojan al güero, recojan al güero. Párate, 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 párate. Párate, güero, párate, párate, pásale, pásale de volada, pásale. Verga, quiere esa mamada, güey. No mames, güey. Ah, verga, yo sí lo vi, carnal. ¿Para dónde es, güey? Para abajo, para abajo, dale para abajo, con cuidado, güerito, con cuidado. Verga, loco, te lo juro que yo sí lo vi, güey, te lo juro que yo sí lo vi, güey. While exploring the caves, the team enters one of them. Turns out there is no one inside. But when Edder enters the next one at the end, he notices a mysterious figure that the others notice as well. They immediately leave the place and go somewhere else. Güerito, aguanta, verga. Ámate, güerito. Aguanta, loco, este vato nunca va rápido, güey. Pollo bobo también ya no quiere nada. Ay, mira, ya se me está alejando más. ¿eh? 
Güero, espérate, papi. Verga. No, no puedo, güey. A ver si ya no puedo. Oye, el tecolote otra vez. El tecolote otra vez. Yo ya lo escuché ahorita, eh. ¿Si ¿Sí lo oyen? No mames. Bueno, ¿dónde van? No mames. No mames. No mames, güey. No mames, güey. Acá estoy con mamado, güey. Y te la vida. Espérate, tú haces, tú haces. Verga, me pegué un verga en la mano. Puta madre, que coño. Si ¿Sí lo viste. La verga. Verga, coño. ¿Qué fue eso? Agárrame a güero, que este lo vio de frente, lo vio solito. ¿Qué? ¿Lo viste, papi? Aguanta, güero, aguanta, aguanta. Siéntate atento, papi. Viene muy, viene muy mal. Viene muy mal, güero. Loco, yo lo vi de frente. Tenía pies de caballo. While on the sending and traversing the forest, the team encounters a mysterious animal figure with a bizarre goat head that some of the team members notice. Terrified even more, they run as fast as possible from this place. What do you folks think about it? Did Eder and the crew stumble upon something paranormal? Have they encountered any mythical creatures? Or maybe all we saw was a hoax? Let me know in the comments below. TikTok user Mafia.300C, on his way home, witnessed something really interesting. The light just turned on. It looks like a hallway light. Okay. Uh, the light, the, the unit I was just in? No, 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 no. From where I'm at, you remember where you seen them standing? Yeah. The light just turned off. Okay. It's still standing there. It looks sideways, though. It looks like it's like. And what does it look like sideways? The second one, the, dude. It looks like two people in there. Two people? Yeah. You're filming it? Yeah. And what do you see? It looks like one just bent down. Okay. It's bending over. It looks like it's trying to pick up something. What? It's it's getting it's getting taller. What? Really tall. What do you mean really tall? It, it's getting tall. It's moving sideways. Like it's leaning back and forth. You see it moving. Yes. Okay, you call the right. you know, can you see this thing? Yeah, it's still there. Okay. What's happening with the lights? Because I'm dude, I'm looking the, at the, the, the lights are the hallway, and the, I can't see like I literally see nothing. The lights are off right now. Oh, it just moved. It just moved. No, it did not. It just moved. It just no, moved. I just heard a weird fucking noise. Please don't tell me that as you said that. Dude, it just moved. No. In one of the buildings on the fourth floor, he notices something disturbing. A dark silhouette that behaves quite mysteriously. It stands still for some time and then moves in an inhuman way. Was it something paranormal, a shadow figure, or maybe a thief? Decide. Alberto and his team find themselves on an island that is cursed. The locals say that only bad things happen on the island. There are also rumors that rituals are taking place on the island or that a mysterious creature inhabits the place only makes the team more excited. Cuidado. Sigo sintiéndose como algo que camina del lado de mí. Ya llevamos un rato caminando. Y bueno, de pronto nada más como ruiditos a nuestro alrededor, pero que bien podrían ser parte de... Ay, güey, ¿viste? Ve, sí, ve, 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 ¿cómo se ve esa hoja? Como, pero vi algo que la movió, ¿eh, güey? Vi sí. algo grande que pasó. Ah, ¿cómo? Vi algo grande que pasó y la movió. Pero ve, ve, ve. Pero fue como una sombra, ¿eh? Sí. ¿Tú la viste no, también? Ve, ¿Viste ve, como ve. una sombra? Sí. ¿Qué sí. pasó? Sí, sí, como sí, si pero ve, 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 sigue, sigue y no hay viento ahorita. Mira. Uy. Me dio miedo. Mira, mira la niña. ¡Ay! Hola. Han de ser monos, ¿no? Sí. Changos. Creo Puede que hay zarabatos, creo que hay aulladores, creo que hay aulladores. Pero... ¡Oh, hijo de su... 
Están muy atrás. Algo arriba se movió. Es que sabes que no, porque los, nosotros los escuchamos en la mañana era diferente. No, pero es que hay unos que gritan, güey, como si fueran. Es que hay, hay diferentes, sí. Ok, con cuidado, ya vimos sombras. Ojalá y se haya captado esa sombra. Uy. ¿Qué hay? ¿Qué hay? Se ven como ojos. Es de la, de la isla, ¿no? ¿De otra isla o de...? No, mira, mira, mira. A ver. No los veo con tu... Ay, mira, ahorita vi. Sí se alcanzaron a grabar como si parpadearan ¿Sí? y cerraran los ojos. Uy, uy. ¿Eso qué es? ¿Una gallina? ¿Cuál, cuál, cuál? Se me desenfoca bien feo. ¿Qué es, güey? Ay, no te Pareciera pases. Que eso, no, ¿Qué es, güey? Es un puerco. Corrió, güey, corrió, ya corrió, está, corrió, ya corrió algo corrió, algo corrió allá arriba. A ver, vamos. No sé qué, ¿lo tienes? Sí, no, sí, sí, pero no Cuidado, sé qué era. Que, a lo mejor era un, era un mono, ¿no? No sé. Puerco no creo que haya. Ay, no, ¿Qué? Creo que ahí está, pero... A ver. A ver, a ver. avienta la luz, pero despacio. Pero, pero como... un, ¿crees que sea un, un ser humano, güey? O... Hasta me dolió el pecho. ¿Alguna persona Ay. o, o no, algún animal, güey? Corrió, qué? yo siento como... A ver, a ver, a ver, a ver, vamos, vamos. Con cuidado, güey. Es que también puede haber animales miedo, peligrosos, güey. Sí, sí, eso también. Y mira, ahí se ve. Ay, güey, oye, oye, oye. ¿Sí lo viste? ¿Sí lo viste? Sí, ¿qué es eso, güey? No sé, pero. No, pero no, ¿No lo tiene tu cámara? No, sí, no sí, 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 lo tengo. Ay, no manches. Hecho, Estoy escuchando güey. cosas. ¿Dónde? No habrá jabalíes o cosas así. Podría haber, ¿eh? Eso es lo que Yo me da que miedo sí. a mí. Sí, y son agresivos, creo, ¿no? A ver, pero aquí está, aquí está más difícil. As they peacefully roam the jungles, only one of them notices something. Right in front of Tony, we see a mysterious humanoid figure, which is spooked by the investigators. Did they accidentally record something paranormal on the island, full of secrets, or was it just a man? You are the judges, you decide. Also, if you want to watch the full episode, visit his YouTube channel Alberto Del Arco. Eric Gunner and Nova went to a place they knew well. They had visited this area several times, and each time something unexplained had happened to them. Once again, they go to this spooky place to explore the area even more thoroughly. Ni un alma. Ni un alma. Anda. Lo volteo tú de ese lado. Se golpeó el tren fantasma. Sí. Fíjate que sí, hay veces que se escucha padre, ¿no? Sí. El toque de terror. Ajá. When Eric and Nova are walking down the path, we can see that there is no one behind them or in front of them. But alert viewers noticed something else. We see their shadows on the wall next to them, but apart from them, we see a third one following just behind them. Unaware of this, he continues his exploration. Pero de que las entierran o algo así, no, no tenemos idea. Eso ya tiene. No, no sé si te acuerdas tú también, pero ya. Sí, ya tiene rato. Bueno, eso estaba bien grandote, ¿no? Como con molidez y así. Ajá. Sí, sí, sí. Tú no venías la vez, ¿verdad? Que la, esta chava nos detuvo el carro, ¿o sí? No. ¿No? No, yo no venía. Según yo sí, ¿no? no. Uy, me espanté este carro. Te lo juro, te lo juro que me espantó ese carro. Miren, motonito. Que me cuidado. Hay que de cualquier manera hay que bajar la luz ahorita, eh. Para... Sí. Si se detienen, corremos. Se escucha algo, ¿no? Por ahí. Sí. Pero si sí se escucha aquí en la víctima. ¿no? Sí, de ese lado yo creo, se escucha. De cualquier manera, 
no estaría chido que nos brincáramos si sí, no te daría un poco de cosa estar ahí como pasarse no pues quién sabe qué habrá ahí vente pues se ve así que asomarnos ¿no? a ver si se alcanza a ver algo es que el problema es de que ahorita eh, siento que como si sí hay movimiento otras veces no, bueno, las veces que venimos no suena tanto. Ah, creo que era por aquí, güey, porque por aquí estaba el árbol y ya no era tan avanzado. In the next two clips, we see the men continuing their exploration. But have you seen anything disturbing? In both cases, we see a mysterious figure of a man behind Nova, which is standing right next to him. Interestingly, the YouTubers are not aware of this person's presence. Who was he and why was he following them? Why didn't any of them realize what was happening? Is what we saw in the recording something paranormal or are we the victims of a joke and a hoax? Decide, folks. It is amazing where the urban explorer went to one of the many abandoned buildings in his neighborhood. But what he encountered on his way that day is creepy as hell. Может, этот, как ее там называют, собака-то, как ее, блин. Короче, собака-демон, как чупакабр. Может, чупакабр какая живет. Не знаю, я в них не верю, конечно. At some point, when walking through the rooms, he starts to hear a strange growl as he gets closer to the source of the sound. A terrifying, dark, inhuman head emerges around the corner. What did he manage to record that day? Was it some mystical creature or just a hoax? Decide. This short video is from the channel Open Baz, where something intriguing was captured on one of the CCTV cameras. At one point, we can notice a bizarre transparent white figure walking calmly by the building. What is most odd, women probably do not see the silhouette, and it is only visible to the camera. So what the hell was that? A real spirit? Or maybe it's just a distortion in the picture? You decide, folks. In the recording from the forest, we can see how a mysterious transparent dark shadow figure resembling a man is running at them, making terrifying noises at the same time. A real ghost recorded on the camera or maybe something else. You decide. Another short video is from TikTok user Bombay Pompel. Hey man. Are you okay, bro? Dude! Hey! Hey man. Hey yo. In this short video, we see a really unpleasant and bizarre situation. The man at the car behaves at least strangely, as if he was under the influence of something. What would you folks do in this situation? The next recording can't be from anyone other than Louise, who, with his son Leonardo, went to another creepy place.
While trying to summon the spirit, they actually managed to release something. In front of Leonardo's camera, we very much see a childlike figure moving very quickly across the room. Was it a ghost they managed to summon, or can it be explained rationally? This time, Kubo is in the park where the real La Llorona is said to be appearing. Está bien cabrón estar aquí solo. ¿Dónde estás? Mierda, gritaron. Hola. ¿Dónde estás? During his live stream, he actually manages to capture something. On the other side of the park, he notices a woman in a long white dress walking down the path. Suddenly, the figure seems to disappear, and Kubo, seeing the apparition, runs away and leaves the place. Was it the real La Llorona or just a hoax? Let me know in the comments below. The next video is from the YouTube channel The Hooker who supposedly lives in a haunted house. For many months, he has been struggling with paranormal activity that literally annoys him to death.
Off, dog. Why every time I'm f alone, dude? Oh, I'm blind. Ah, uh, crap. Fresh doors on. It started out innocently at first, but as time passed, it became more and more mysterious. I'm not here. I can't see shit through this fucking screen. I can't see nothing through the goddamn screen. It's not, well, I guess it is a window too. God dang, that thing's filthy. Hello? Hello? Oh, oh Jesus. It's my letter. And things. It's like a low rumble. Mm. Uh, fun. Fun. David. It's not funny, guys.
Hello? 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 Fun? Fun? Oh man, what a f tool, dude. How the f bad? Oh, dude, f I don't like that, man. I think I'm gonna go somewhere. Yeah. Once again, we see the door moving by itself, or the lamp turning on and off. But have you noticed the mysterious translucent shadow hiding behind the bed? Of course, it could very well be a glitch, but what he recorded next is harder to explain. The camera that sets up earlier records a mysterious dark silhouette in one of the rooms, which first stands still and then moves calmly from left to right. Is it a real ghost and poltergeist activity recorded on a camera? Or can everything be explained? You are the judges. You decide. Also, if you want to watch all his videos, visit his YouTube channel, The Hooker. During the walk, YouTube user Maud Sham Simon recorded something very strange. On the road, right next to the security barriers, we see a woman dressed in a long white dress who, after a while, starts flying and rises a few feet into the air. After a while, she is back on the ground and walks a few feet and rises into the air again. Is it something paranormal or just a hoax? Choose wisely, folks. Vaya haciendo una recarga cuando se me empezaron a apagar las luces. Para que vean, para que no digan que no es cierto. <risa> Les va. Vean, 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 se mueven esas madres. Vean cómo se mueven los refrescos. Vean, las luces. Vean. 
Um, wer, wer denn? Wer denn? Las luces se apagan. ¡Ah, se quedó abierta! ¡Vean, está abierta esa puerta! ¡Está abierta esa puerta! ¡No mames! ¿Qué se escuchó? Yo voy para adentro. Para que vean que estoy solo, más déjenme subo para que no digan. ¿Está todo solo? ¿Qué se escuchó? No mames. ¿Ves en la cámara? Vean, no hay nadie. Estoy aquí en los refrigeradores. No hay nada, no hay nadie. Dejen voy. Ahí para afuera. No hay nadie. Vamos a los baños. Vean, se movió este. Vean las luces. Se movió este exhibidor. El exhibidor estaba aquí. Vean, ya está mi recarga, se canceló. <risa> no mames. Ahora ver, vean, 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 una botella. Beverage coolers move by themselves. Lights flicker. Things move around the store by themselves. Did he manage to capture real paranormal activity, or is it just a hoax? Decide, folks. The last recording comes from Turkey, where a group of YouTubers captured something interesting. <laughs> Ahmet sakın e, şu an her yerde çıkabilir, her an çıkabilir. Bu Allah Ömer abi, Ömer abi sanda. Bir dakika. Sanda, sanda, sanda. Nerede? Bu bu bu. Bu da yukarı, yukarı, yukarı. Tamam gördüm. Gördüm bir dakika bak. Gördüm. Boynuzlara bak. Tamam işte. Ahmet bu boynuzu şerşapal bu Ahmet. Ömer abi. Boynuzu şerşapal bak. Dediğin abi bu. Büyük boynuzu olan. Ömer abi ne bu? Burayı koruyan boynuzu şerşapal bu çok güçlü. En güçlü. Çok güçlü Ahmet sakın. Panik yapma bak. Bahçe, başına büyük bir sıkıntı gelebilir. Sakın panik yapma bak. Görüyor musun? Şu an bize bakıyor. Ben şimdi bunu... O neydi öyle? Çıktı bu ortaya. Bu tısımla çıktı ortaya. Ama çok güçlü Ahmet. Var mı? Başka yerde var mı? Aşağıda. Aşağıda Ömer abi. Yakında. Ömer abi yakında. Yakında. Arkamda geldi. Arkama geldi Ömer abi. Arkama geldi. Tamam tamam tamam. Aziz. Aziz Ahmet'e dur buradan. Bak sen bu sağ tarafıma, sol tarafıma gelsene. Soluma geç. Bak şimdi ben sana şunu söyleyeceğim. Ömer abi. Ömer abi. Bir dakika. Yukarıda. Bak burada yok. Bak gitti dur. Ömer abi. Yukarıda yukarıda. Aşağıda da var. Aşağıda da var. En tehlikeli. Aşağıda da var. Ne oldu? Kayboldu. Kayboldu. Aziz. Altta da çıkabilir ha. 
Aziz, Aziz. Bak o taraftan da çıkabilir Aziz. Gördün mü? Tam şu dipte. Ahmet bu çok, çok güçlü Ahmet. At one point on the escarpment, the men noticed something terrifying. A goat human form that seems to look at them. Was it a real mystical creature or just another hoax? You decide.